Hey, I'm Phantom Bruv, and today I will be showing you my Hunter's Fury pistol build that does 14 million DPS in one shot. It is truly insane. I have to say I have played around with this build quite a bit with gameplay, the shooting range, and with research because I love the data. Let's get into it. Now, my dear viewers, it simply wouldn't be a proper build video if I didn't serenade your eardrums with tales of my undying affection for this masterpiece. Prepare for a thrilling display of gameplay wizardry that will undoubtedly persuade you to embark on a looting frenzy and craft your own extraordinary gaming experience. The reason why I love this build so much is because it's having a secret weapon from the gods themselves. With the Hunter's Fury pistol build in the Division 2, you'll unleash a storm of destruction that'll make the toughest enemies tremble in their boots. We're taking a mind-blowing 14 million DPS here, folks. It's like having a personal fireworks show. But instead of pretty lights, you'll be raining down pure chaos on your foes. Whether you're a PvE enthusiast or a PvP superstar, this build will make you the star of the show, the hero in the spotlight. So grab your favorite pistol, load up, with extra oomph and get ready to make the enemies say, wait, who invited this unstoppable force of nature? It's time to bring the fury, unleash the mayhem and become the stuff of a legend in the division two. Let's show you the build. Let's go, baby. So here we are. Let's show you the build. Start off with the guns. As usual, the first gun you want to select is you want to select the classic M1A. Try and max out with rifle damage, crit hit damage, and if you can, damage to targets out of cover. I've gone for magazine size so I can continue damaging my enemies with a bigger mag size. And I'm running boomerang, so it gives you critical hits, have a 50% chance to return the bullet to the magazine. If a bullet is returned to the magazine, the next shot has 40% increased capacity. So that's pretty good because if your crit hit chance is relatively high, so around 50%, that means every other shot has the potential to do just that. As my secondary, I'm running the MP5A2 with max SMG crit hit chance and damage to target out of cover. And I'm running Ranger just so that I have sustained weapon damage amplifies weapon damage by 2% for every five meters you are away from the target. The reason why this build is so good is because of the pistol this pistol synergizes perfectly with the hunter fury set due to its unique talent it deals amplified damage to enemy weak points and its high base damage and critical hit chance make it a formidable choice for this build so as you can see the talent is liberty or death hits grant two percent weapon damage stacks up to 30 times headshots consume all stacks repairing your shield for three percent per stack so that's pretty much it for the mods on your rifle and your mp5 you can see that i'm just increasing crit hit chance everywhere increased mag size and for my mp5 again crit hit damage there crit hit chance crit hit chance and an increased mag size there so i got 52 round mag there what you could do is roll the damage to target out of cover for an even bigger mag if you really really want but having extra damage does help next up we're gonna go straight into the gear and the mods obviously this is a four piece hunter's fury build if you find this helpful smash that that subscribe button and like the video shout out to all agents in the delta force australia clan join my discord link in the description below to find information on how to join the clan and play with other agents get assistance from helpful clan members for raids and daily events leave a comment with your suggestions to improve this build gonna start off with the mask what you want to do is just have a look at the hunter's fury first so the good things here is that because we're running an smg we get that buff for smg damage we're using a rifle not a shotgun you could run a shotgun for the increased 15 percent buff but i like to run the rifle just because if any targets are in the distance they're a lot easier to to get with a rifle and then of course we get the 20 percent armor on kill and 100 percent health on kill not so much interested in the health but mainly the armor and of course the four piece buff for the hunter's fury gives us apex predator enemies within 50 15 meters receive a debuff amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20 percent killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disorientates other enemies within five meters and amplifies weapon damage by five percent for 10 seconds stacking up to five times this is op 
what you'll see in the gameplay is as soon as I've downed one enemy with a headshot, the debuff applies to anyone around them and disorientates them. And as long as I keep killing them, I keep getting the stacks of up to five times where I'm increasing my weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds continuously. What you want to do is you want to roll your core attribute to max out weapon damage and just go straight on to headshot damage. And I'm very lucky to have a maxed headshot damage mod as well. Then the chest piece, which is another vital piece in this build is the chain killer from Walker and Harris and co. You get the straight buff to weapon damage, maxed out weapon damage, headshot damage and critical hit chance maxed out and a 9.7% mod if you can get a maxed one then that would be awesome but the main thing is the perfect headhunter talent after killing an enemy with a headshot your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 150% of that killings blow damage damage is capped to 800% of your weapon damage that is raised to 1250% if your headshot damage is greater than 150% so if you follow this build closely you'll see that your headshot damage should be close to the number i have here which is 168 percent continuing on to the holster again hunter's fury just put your weapon damage there and the headshot damage there your backpack i'm running a seska you could opt to change to a walker harris backpack if you want to get that damage to armor but i am increasing my crit hit chance with the seska again max out your weapon damage if possible headshot damage crit hit chance and get a headshot damage mod on there i am running unstoppable force here so killing an enemy increases total weapon weapon damage by 5% for 15 seconds stacks up to five times so as long as you're continuously killing enemies which is the purpose of this build you'll continuously do weapon damage if you choose to run vigilance yes you do get the 25% extra damage when you're not getting shot but as soon as you get shot you lose it and trust me with this build you'll be getting shot especially if you're running it on heroic with all five directives next up we'll go to the gloves again hunter's fury simple weapon damage headshot damage and the holster hunter's fury weapon damage and headshot damage the mods again i've just gone through them headshot damage on all of them you can play around with crit hit chance and crit hit damage but you're pretty much trying to hit headshots with the liberty constantly so go for headshot damage as all of your mods for the skills you'll see that first off i'm running the hive for the hive what you want to do is you want to make sure that you've got your reviver armor repair up your duration and your repair charges so just make sure you try put some mods on there and of course this is going to help you revive your allies and yourself if you do go down and then one of the the most important skills for this build is the door so the bulwark ballistic shield so it says the bulwark ballistic shield provides near full body coverage but its bulk means that only sidearms may be used while it's equipped shield skill tier increases with both armor and skill attributes we're not running that so agents are briefly disorientated when shield breaks from hostile damage so the reason why this is op is basically because you can simply just hold it and shoot your pistol again try and put your holstered regeneration on your shield health and your shield health if you can max out your shield health it just means it will last a lot longer for the specialization i'm running gunner of course the main thing is if you are running heroic with all five directives the passive talent where you generate 10 percent total ammo capacity every 60 seconds is really really good because that means you'll have ammo for your smg and your rifle especially if you're smart about where you fast travel so you don't go to safe houses just go to settlements and classified missions and so forth it means you won't run out of ammo and the main thing here is is you also get killing enemies grants 10 percent armor on kill and i also really like the riot foam grenade because you can also throw that out to disorientate your enemies whilst you shoot them so this is why you want to obviously buff your smg and your rifle here and that's pretty much it for the gunner specialization there are a couple of items that you can switch out whilst you play around with this build i think first of all the liberty pistol probably want to switch out for the regulus and if you really want what you could do is you could switch out backpack for another hunter's fury so if you run this one you will then get overwhelming force which is increases the radius of disorientate on apex predator kills from five meters to 10 meters and then what you can do is you can switch out your holster for the dodge city's gunslinger holster and that gives you quick Draw, which is while your pistol is holstered gain a stacking buff every 0.3 seconds up to 100 when you swap to it your first shot consumes the buff and deals 10 percent damage per stack this deals headshot damage to anywhere you hit so this is this is a really nice little optimization for the build i'd also recommend playing around with an ar if you don't like rifles so like running a p416 possibly so that you can get better engagements like close range medium range and long range i'm running 
this rifle because I prefer pretty much just the long range capacity of it just in case I'm not using my pistol and I like the SMG just in case someone pushes me pretty quickly so so yeah that's pretty much the pieces that I would switch out I'd be interested to hear what you guys think about changing things in this build to optimize it further and then continuing on what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly show you the stats and my watch and everything in my shooter range so I'm, I'm actually uh, SHD level 1000 now since my last video if you haven't seen it so I've ranked up quite a bit so it's completely maxed out so obviously the damage numbers you see here you'll get something similar if your watch level is above and for the stats you'll see that I've got my talents here but basically what we want to look at is pretty much the headshot damage crit hit chance crit hit damage um the weapon damage that's being produced as you can see it's quite a bit but mainly the headshot damage all weapon damage is over 100 percent and then i've got my rifle damage bonus smg rifle bonus pistol damage bonus you see i've got perfect head hunter there and that's pretty much where my armor is sitting so i'll just scroll down to the bottom to make sure I haven't missed anything and you guys can pretty much check that out so that you guys follow this build as closely as you want or like but in the shooting range I just thought I'd quickly show you exactly how much damage I'm doing with my rifle my SMG and the pistol so you'll see with an elite enemy if I'm stacking it's just normally hitting 2.5 mil but say if I get rid of one bang, I'm on 7 mil now and then basically if the killing blow triggers quite nicely it'll start doing crazy damage so eight mil there we go bang it should get up to 14 in a minute 10 mil 14 mil look at that one shotting elites 14 million dps so that's pretty much the pistol i'm pretty sure it could do a lot more um i haven't really tested that um but as lot it's all about how much damage you take off at the end so if i mean it would be cool if at the end like if you could shoot a little bit of the enemy like this keep it yeah and now if that's a kill and blow this should hit quite high 18 mil 3 mil 2 mil I hit it in the chest a couple times see if this is kill and blow yeah this this next one will be massive 8 mil ah no it's not damn it it's close it's hard i just want to see if i can trigger a or 9 mil mil that one's quite good here we go ah can't i was wondering if i could get higher but with an elite i can just get 14 mil and then obviously with the smg you get some pretty nice numbers there as well that's crazy damage right there look at that 850,000. oh my god that is just insane and then with the rifle you'll hit three mil just then so it's it's just solid it's just a solid build and you'll 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 be very very happy with those numbers i would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below share your favorite builds or drop some genius ideas to level up this one and hey if you're not too busy dodging bullets why not hit that subscribe button for more epic content check out my socials in the description down below to stay in the loop with everything phantom bruv related thanks for watching and to all you comment warriors out there keep slaying those keys your comments fuel my channel and confuse the YouTube algorithm in the most delightful way. I really appreciate it. Until next time, agents. Peace.